Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well. Let's see what your message is. You have the Eight of Cups. Channeled message reading. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Channeled message reading. You have the King of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Swords. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Clarify the Eight of Cups. You have the Four of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Cups. You have the Ace of Pentacles. I've been seeing Ace of Pentacles a lot in the, in the deck for like months now. And it's very good because the Ace of Pentacles, it's a blessing. It's a blessing of prosperity, increase, growth, expansion. It's a very positive card. Clarify the Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Hmm. Give me a second, you guys. Let me look into this. Eight of Cups and Clarity of the Eight of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Tell us more about this uh, Four of Wands. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like someone's walking away from a relationship. Could be a breakup, separation, divorce. Um, this is like a relationship that they put a lot of time though. They, they spent a lot of time with this person. Four of Wands is a commitment, okay? I feel like maybe superficially it was fulfilling. The way I'm seeing like the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Perhaps this is someone who they could grow with but more so materialistically because now the four of cups is unfulfillment okay the four of cups is unfulfillment it's maybe even rejection i feel like they're just not interested in this partnership anymore i feel like something else has caught their attention looking at this eight of swords they're stuck in their head about something here something that's more it's like they're leaving an ace of pentacles for an ace of cups both of these cards are very valuable, but they um, they represent two completely different things. I know that pentacles are very valuable when it comes to earthly matters. And then you have the ace of cups, which more so talks about your emotional fulfillment. So I feel like someone's leaving a connection that was an ace of pentacles. They, they, they did expand in some sort of, you know, maybe in a material way or superficial way. Um... But it's like uh, with the Ace of Cups, I feel like there's someone here that they're interested in where they see this person as their new beginning, new love that's, that is emotionally fulfilling them. Hmm, okay. Tell us about this Ace of Cups. Yeah, you see, King of Cups. King of Cups is all about feelings and emotions. They have fallen for someone. They have fallen in love with someone. The King of Cups, it's, it can be a romantic card, uh, but the King of Cups is someone who's very emotional, very sensitive, intuitive, just a very compassionate individual. And King of Cups does have an intuitive side as well. Yeah, I just, wow. Queen of Pentacles, amazing. There's a Queen of Pentacles here that they're interested in. Ooh, look at this, the lovers soulmates a choice i feel like they've chosen this queen of pentacles to be with they're leaving some sort of ace of pentacles situation here whatever this partnership was hmm tell us more about this partnership here at the ace of pentacles and then we'll go back to that okay so i'm trying to compare like their past versus what they're going towards now what they're wanting now so tell us about this four of wands ace of pentacles judgment wow yeah judgment this relationship or this partnership here, it's under judgment. 
They're seeing things clearly. Clarify the Four of Wands. They're seeing things very, very clearly. Let me see. Two of Wands. Yeah, Two of Wands carrying out a plan. I feel like they want out, literally. The world is completion, a successful completion. They want out. What is this? Uh, page of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Hmm. Pages are all about news, messages, communication. Then you have the Six of Wands, victory, accomplishments, and recognition. Hmm. This could be someone, I feel like this may be someone who's very, um, like, influential in a way. That's the energy that I'm getting from them and from these two cards. Tell us more about the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. I feel like this is someone who's known to be extremely successful. Maybe even known, like, well-known for their, for their craft or something. You have Justice card that's here. Oh... Hmm. The Justice card talks about fairness and balance. It talks about getting what you deserve. I wonder if this was legality. Like, I feel like it's legalities. Something here where I feel like, I wonder if this person had, like, I feel like it was a divorce. Was this a divorce? The lovers. It was some sort of divorce. And they get to leave with their money. Like, I don't feel like this person really, I, I don't know. Like, there was no settlement here. I don't really know how divorces go. But I know that finances, you know, are involved. And sometimes you do have to pay, you know, your spouse or your ex-spouse. But I feel like this person gets to go with their money. Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands is here. Six of Wands is someone who feels victorious. Hmm. I don't know if this was a romantic partnership, though. It could have even been a business partnership. What kind of partnership was this? Oh, it was romantic. Knight of Cups. It was a romantic partnership. That they're now turning their back on. And they're looking towards the future. They're looking at what's ahead. Oops. Weighing their choices. Seven of Cups. So someone here is out of a relationship. They're no longer obligated to be with this individual. If there was legalities involved, I feel like, um, you know, they didn't, they definitely didn't get their pockets drained. Um, now this individual cannot stop thinking about a queen of pentacles type, you know, and the queen of pentacles is known to be very loyal, very committed, very grounded. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is really faithful and devoted. This is also someone who's extremely valuable, very successful, um, tends to live a luxurious life, but is still very humble and grounded. I feel like they're seeing whoever this feminine energy is, they're seeing this Queen of Pentacles as the, as the one who they want to commit themselves to. Okay, King of Cups is seeing this Queen of Pentacles as the one who you know, they want to commit to. Wow. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. All right. Let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this King of Pentacles. Let's look at this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Okay. King of Pentacles is someone who is very similar to the Queen of Pentacles, very successful, very hardworking, it's just someone who's very well off, stable, grounded, secure, very traditional. All right. So let's look at this. Let's look at this King of Pentacles. They're showing up. Heck, let me just clear it. They're showing up as the Hierophant here, okay? And the Hierophant is someone who is typically a leader, someone who is like, you know, maybe they, like, it's a very powerful, influential individual, okay? So maybe they are powerful in their community. Maybe people do look up to them. Maybe they do inspire and guide others. The Hierophant could even be a teacher of some sort, okay? Um, 
I could even talk about, the higher phone could even talk about marriage. Tell us more about the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you have the Ace of Swords, all right? Let's see. You have the Ace of Pentacles, okay. Hmm. Hmm. The Judgment, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. I definitely see that this King of Pentacles is about to move towards uh, that Queen of Pentacles. I definitely see this King of Pentacles presenting an offer here. Yeah, Ace of Cups almost came out. I definitely see that. I definitely see the higher form could even represent a higher level, you know, uh, soulmate connection. I want us to clarify this higher font. I feel like there's more. Clarify the higher font here. Clarify the higher font the world. Mm. I definitely feel like this could have been someone who was married. I feel that so strongly. That's what the higher fun is representing. This is someone who's married. world though is completion the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles something just seems right it's like the, the the previous relationship or marriage that they were in i'll just call it a relationship whether they were married or not um they definitely had some sort of like um financial ties they definitely did. And maybe that's even why, you know, they had to go to court. Um, whether they were married or not, I definitely see some financial obligations here. I feel like these are these were two people, them and this past person that they left. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's very successful, okay? Very, very successful. And the Three of Pentacles is working together, a collaboration. So I don't know if they started. King of Pentacles could typically be a business owner, entrepreneur, whatever their profession was, they were very good um, at what they do. And I feel like their their last partner got involved, like as in maybe they joined forces for the, the partnership or the business. They work together in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Whether this person was married or not, I definitely feel like there were uh, commitments here made by the two of them. So it kind of got, look at this, King of Swords. It was very hard to officially cut off that person. And I feel like legalities, some legal things got involved here, definitely. Let me see. Yeah, again, so we literally just saw the King of Swords and then the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were together, I feel. They were together. If they were not together romantically, this, this could easily... If they were not married or in a relationship, this was definitely... It could have been a business partnership. Okay. But I do feel like there was some sort of marriage involved. Marriage or they were together for a long time and they had some financial ties with each other. Okay. So it was very, very hard. The Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune talks about, um, well, this could have been a karmic individual too. It is a karmic wheel. It also represents um, something that's faded, destined to happen. Let me see. Yeah, I know they regret it. This King of Pentacles really regrets being in a partnership with this Queen of Swords, but what he needs to know or what they need to know 
is that it was fated, it was destined to happen. There were karmic lessons that the King of Pentacles needed to learn, okay? The strength overcoming difficulties. The Wheel of Fortune also represents the, the, the will turning in the King of Pentacles' favor, okay? Things moving forward. So it was a hurdle that the King of Pentacles was able to overcome. And I feel like it gave the King of Pentacles great lessons. Um, and now they can move forward, okay? Yeah, speaking of great lessons, the High Priestess is here. All right? The High Priestess is someone who is very, very wise. The High Priestess is literally known to be all-knowing. Wise, very uh, spiritually um, gifted, very intuitive, okay? Very insightful, okay? I feel like this King of Pentacles, after this experience, learned to learn to discern people definitely much better let's look at judgment yeah there's a there's a breakup there's a separation the five of pentacles it's coldness distance between two people let me see eight of wands then you have the ten of swords yeah Definitely five of cups, regrets, crying over spilled milk. I even feel like there was tension. It was something where it just couldn't be resolved. Something happened here where it just, it got too much and there was no resolution but to separate. Clarify the ace of swords. Ace of Swords represents the truth. It represents clarity. It represents communication. Wow. I definitely feel like this King of Pentacles is about to give an offer to new love. Perhaps what happened here was in the past, something that they've cleared out. And now I, I do see this King of Pentacles communicating. I do. Communicating to the one that uh, he wants to be with that queen of pentacles and again knight of cups so it's so nice to see the king of pentacles giving giving love another try another chance clarify the ace of pentacles the way i see the magician here i feel like he's been working on presenting an offer to this queen of pentacles let's look at the ace of pentacles Pentacles, wow. <laughs> Two of Wands. This King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles feels like he has found a treasure. <laughs> you know, he feels like he has found a treasure, a precious gem who is that Queen of Pentacles. And I, I just feel like He's really been working, manifesting a relationship with that Queen of Pentacles. Let's look at the Seven of Swords here. Everything is fine. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. King of Wands. Yeah, he's trying to really leave everything behind. Don't worry, Seven of Swords is not anything negative. Um, well, it can be, but really Seven of Swords is like, the way I'm reading this, this is someone who's really trying to leave the past in the past and he doesn't even want to bring it up again. Like it's, it's like, it's a done deal. He doesn't want to talk about it. He would rather just shut the door on that situation and start, start fresh, start over. I'm sure the more the two of them get to know each other, he'll be open and willing to, um, you know, talk about it. 
the sun. Literally, the sun, a reveal. He will. So with the seven of swords, he's really trying to just leave that past behind. Doesn't want it to come back up. Everything is fine here. I feel like he's been set free from that situation. I feel like with the king of wands... King of Wands is someone who's very like determined, very passionate, very warrior-like even, um, very ambitious, is a go-getter. So he was able to overcome that obstacle indeed. Um, as much as there were, you know, some legal legal ties there, I feel like he was able to overcome them. The temperance talks about peace, it talks about harmony, alignment, contentment, and then you have the sun card that's here. It's happiness, it's fulfillment, it's growth, it's expansion, and the death. The death is a major ending that leads to transformation, okay? And I feel like now that he's free, I feel like the two of them separated a while back, but it was the, le the, the legal ties that he was trying to sever, and I feel like he's free from that now. I really feel like he's trying to just start over. Yeah, he's free. The, the devil and the lovers, there was definitely something that was keeping the two of them bound. The way I'm looking at the devil here. See how these two people are chained to each other. And I feel like it was some, literally six of pentacles. It was financial ties that were chaining the two of them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was financial ties. It made him feel like he was stuck with the eight of swords. The eight of swords is literally feeling stuck. Okay, because again, 10 of pentacles, maybe they even had a family together or they had established some, some sort of wealth. 10 of pentacles could be lump sums of money. It could be generational wealth. It could be business empires. Yeah, three of swords, heartbreak. Man. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like he was definitely, I feel like he was the one that definitely kind of initiated the separation. Yeah. I feel like he definitely initiated the separation. I don't know. I just heard that with the Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Disappointment, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like she still wanted it. The Queen of Cups, I feel like she still had some love here. But I just feel like, you know, as much as these two could have been soulmates, maybe there were some karmic lessons there that the both of them needed to learn, okay? I feel like he is definitely ready to start something new here with his Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Oh, he is. I feel like this man has healed. Ten of Swords in the reverse, someone who has healed. King of Cups in the upright. He's emotionally balanced. He's stable. He's grounded. He's ready for love. <laughs> like I said, I feel like he was just wrapping up the legal ties, severing legal ties. That's what, what it was. Um, oh, he's... This, man, this King of Pentacles is ready. <laughs> Six of Cups. Six of Cups is all about... Um, reunions, reconciliations, the knight of wands, someone who's on a passionate pursuit. He's like, let me go get my woman. Now that I'm free, I'm free. I have nothing, you know, restricting me, limiting me, tying me up. Yeah. He's like, I want the 10 of cups. He's like, I want that happily ever after. I want that true emotional fulfillment. I want that, that fairy tale ending. He's deep in his feelings about that with the moon card here. <laughs> Very strong feelings and emotions that maybe he's he was having to hide because he wasn't in a place to really get with this Queen of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Good news. And the Knight of Pentacles. And he is still here as a Knight of Cups. He's still here. So, yeah, with the Page of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles, I definitely feel like he has so much passion to go and communicate. Pages are all about messages and news. He is so passionate to to start a relationship, to go and talk and get to know that Queen of Pentacles, move things forward with that Queen of Pentacles. It's something that took him some time, yes, because he wanted to do it the right way. He did not want to start a relationship with someone new, knowing that he still had some legal ties 
uh, to sever with a past person, okay? This is someone who wants a clean, fresh start. He doesn't want the past to show up, okay? Um, he definitely doesn't want the past to show up. Three of Wands. Yeah, okay. Another another storyline that I'm getting, if he if him and that Queen of Swords were not together, for many of you, you'll resonate with it where it's like, yeah, dream. I do like if you're the King of Pentacles, you say, Yeah, that was someone who I was connected to and we had some financial ties or something. Um, but if not King of Pentacles, another storyline that I'm getting for you is it honestly could have been some sort of business partnership here. King and Queen of Swords, especially the King of Swords being very professional. Um, yeah, King of Swords is, is professional, highly skilled. Um, highly skilled, very analytical, just super duper in intelligent, you know, a professional. Queen of Swords is savvy. Queen of Swords could even be business savvy, an excellent communicator, you know, because I didn't really see that Queen of Swords and King of Swords in the reverse. Um, if it was in the re reverse, that's when I would say, okay, divorce, divorce, you know. Um, so, I mean, it could be that that King of Pentacles was married, was, you know, in a commitment with that Queen of Swords. They got a divorce or a relationship and they had to separate or it was a business partnership that went wrong. And if it went wrong, I feel like it's because one of them caught feelings for the other. Three of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. If it, if it, if that's the storyline, tell me more, Holy Spirit. If that's the storyline, because you can take this in so many ways. I know I'm reading for so many people. Ace of Wands, Five of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. If that's the storyline where it was a business partnership that went wrong, I feel like one of them caught feelings and it was not reciprocated by the other. And I feel like that's when things got really bad. Like one of them got really hurt and, and angry and there could have even been some like obsessions. Like I just feel like something went, something went wrong here. Four of Swords, yeah. There could have been some, if it was a business partnership, it went wrong. It went all the way wrong. Two of Pentacles, there was instability. I feel like the one that wanted it to be romantic got rejected and started acting crazy. Maybe that's why legalities had to come in. Maybe that's why they had to take it to court. Six of Cups. Whoa, I'm seeing a whole, I'm seeing this in, y'all, I'm seeing this in so many ways. If that's what happened, a business partnership, because I'm getting a storyline too, where if it was, King of Pentacles is typically a business owner, but if they were not married or committed, if it was not romantic, let's say it was business, work-related, if it was work-related, I feel like it's like, Someone here wanted it to get more. It wanted someone here. I can't even talk because I'm seeing something. Someone here wanted it to be more. And when they got rejected, they started to take things personally and the partnership just didn't last. I feel like they got obsessed. I feel like they got obsessed. Maybe there was even a little bit of stalking here. Let me see something here. The hermit. Could I find a hermit? Could I find a hermit? A chariot? The, the, the hermit is healing. It's healing, it's recovering. Hold on. I gotta get to. There was. Okay, if it was a business partnership, some. That Queen of Swords definitely got upset, definitely wanted it to be more, and it just, I feel like King of Pentacles was not interested. 
and I feel like there was some instability here with the one who got rejected became very unstable. There could have been some stalking. There could have been some obsessions. I feel like there was stalking, definitely stalking. I am seeing paranoia here. There was stalking going on too. Oh no, that is, that is crazy. That is crazy. If that's where it turned, okay, because there's a king of pentacles where they were in a commitment, you know, and they had to separate, probably go to court to sever some legal ties, financial obligations, you know, but then there's also a king of pentacles here. Just take it how it resonates. There's also another storyline where they could have dealt with a crazy work partner. Two of cups is a partnership. This was some sort of like, if I can't have you, no one can. What in the world? Yeah, Four of Swords. Look, Four of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Obsession. Obsession. Big time. Seven of Cups being in your head. Four of Swords being in your head. Four of Swords is, is you like heavenly heavily heavily draining yourself in your in your thoughts four of swords is like contemplation um seven of cups the, both of these cards are like heavily being in your head so i wonder what really happened like this is weird yeah someone was in love with the ace of cups someone was in love but the other person was not and they did not want to take no for an answer, seven of wands. Again, this could have still been, been the ex. Could have still been the ex who was like, no, I do not want to. I want you to leave me. We're going to stay together. King of Pentacles was probably like, you know, whether this was an ex-lover, ex-work partner, Queen of Swords was like, you're not leaving me. But I feel like definitely with that justice, they had to go to court or something like that to really get that Queen of Swords away or to sever ties, okay? That's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that here. Um, this is such a beautiful connection, though. I feel like King of Pentacles is really ready for their Queen of Pentacles. I definitely feel like they have healed greatly and done their best to clear out past, you know, past drama and situations and free themselves so that they can now start a, a new relationship, okay? Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel, all right? Take care. Many blessings to you.